you've ever experienced this when you've gone to try to buy something and the pricing is so freaking confusing that it just overwhelms the heck out of you. ever been to a restaurant like you go to a restaurant you're starving you're really hungry you're ready to buy food <laughs> like, like you're starving and then you get the menu and it's just like long elaborate extended menu and you feel like you have to sift through it for hours to actually get to the buying the food part okay this is okay in restaurants because once you sit down chances are you're not gonna walk away because you're hungry but people take the same approach with pricing mm -hmm. all of the time. Exactly. Like if you look at their pricing pages, it's like all of this million different options, all of these confusing terms, like, you know, you'll get this, but only if you pay pricing at this level, but you have to add this different service. Like, have you ever, just give me like a heart if you've ever experienced this when you've gone to try to buy something and the pricing is so freaking confusing that it just overwhelms the heck out of you. Uh, I can't just be the only one that feels this way. <laughs> so let me know. So the overwhelm that we create by having too many options is a problem. So with the client that we were talking about earlier, that was actually what was going on. She had this giant services page, giant with tons of different pricing and unique services that you could either add or take away or mix and match. And I was just like, I mean, she's great, but I was so confused. Yeah, exactly. Right? Exactly. Like, really confusing. So your prices should not be like a puzzle that your employee or client, I mean your employee, that your buyer <laughs> or prospect has to solve. Like, Pricing should not be a puzzle. It should be easy. It should be simple. You should streamline the buying process in your business as much as humanly possible. Make it easy for people to buy your services. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't be like that restaurant with the long extended menu that just confuses people. Too many options slow people down when it comes to buying. So don't give them too many options. Give them two or three options and then you can upsell them into more expensive, higher priced products or items. Instead of thinking like an overwhelming menu at a restaurant, I want you to think of the daily card, the daily offer that they give you when you sit down at a more expensive place. That is what your prices should look like. Like your daily offering, very limited, but very clear to understand instead of long and overwhelming. All right, you beautiful people, thank you for tuning in. We had such a great time. Just remember, we do these Capacito times every single week. So every Tuesday, 12.30 p.m. Eastern, 6.30 p.m. Uh, CEST time. That is Central the, European. Central European <laughs> time, which is where we're at. Love you all. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>